Grab it, it's in I hate this guy. He does like the weirdest shit. I don't. The birdie. Pero no trae el. Hace, dejé. Pero qué quiere decir? Pues no sé en qué idioma es. Hmm. Time to coat some screens, you guys. All right, so here we go, guys. For this, we're gonna need our scoop coater. That's the right measurement for the screens that you're using. We're gonna use a plastic spatula. And it's always good to have a damped rag handy. So what I like to do is I like to fill my scoop coater halfway, not all the way, so it keeps, um, Less emulsion running to the sides, and that's how we keep our screens cleaner, and we prevent to make a mess that way. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to use the thinner side of the scoop coater, and I go twice on the outside of the screen. and just once on the inside. Now with our plastic spatula, we're gonna scoop up the sides to get rid of that buildup. And this is the key to reclaim a little bit faster, believe it or not. Because when I'm reclaiming, I don't have to worry about that thick area. And that's what usually takes the longest to get out. So to know if you coated the screen right, you can look at it up against the light and you're gonna see a nice even gloss all the way around. So when you put it in your dark room and it's resting to dry up, you have to put it in this position so that the emulsion dries on the backside of the screen. And if you have a fan like I do in front of your rack, it should take about 30 minutes to dry. So. Someone just asked me that. That's that gloss that I'm talking about. Ain't no other booth like the one I got. <clears throat> All right, so Sean from Chino, California was asking me about the booth that uh, prevents the most like water coming off the sides to keep your, your walls as clean as possible. And obviously the back wall as well. So the one that I have, this washout tank has these covers on the, on the top and on the sides. So when I'm reclaiming, all that water just kind of like works its way back inside. And it keeps my walls, you know, the floor is not that dirty. It looks dirty because it's wet, but it's really not that bad. It's a black line. Eh, I ripped off the, the tag or their sticker because it was, it was bothering me. And I want to put a vinyl sticker of mine on there. So 
I'll look up the information. I'll leave a link below for that specific brand. It's very expensive. I found mine on offer up for like 400 bucks. So there's definitely ways to get it cheaper, but it's gonna take some time to find it. So that's what we got for today. I only had one left on the rack, which was the top one. So we did a pretty good amount. Um, always remember to have a damped rag and remember to clean the lip off your bucket when you're done and you can just step on it to close it. Get rid of that. Clean your spatula and always clean your scoop quarter. It's nice and flat just like I got it when I bought it three years ago. So remember to take care of your equipment. Practice. It's still not going to make perfect with that because sometimes every now and then I mess up a screen and I just have to like redo it. No big deal. You know, it's part of screen printing. So don't be afraid to do it more than once until you get the hang of it. But just remember, do two on one side and then finish on the inside and lay the screen this way on your rack. So the emulsion sits on the back side of the screen. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow if I'm back in here.